Oh, right everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to crack into number six of the top 100 players of 2018 for the NFL. Todd Gurley, running back for the Rams. It's a running back that's sick. I haven't seen a, I haven't seen a lot of running backs lately. There's been a hell of a lot of DE and DT. But I guess there's only really one star running back for each team. So, you know, all good. Todd Gurley, I've seen you. I've seen you speak about the other players. Now we're about to hear what everyone thinks of you. Number six, man. That is sick. Coming from... GPS signal lost. I can't say it. Control what you can control. He's an animal, and I got a lot of respect for him, and... You know, he's just a different breed. You can't coach his speed or power or athleticism. And, really? You know, he's jumping over guys left and right. He got involved in the passing game a lot. You know, it's hard to stop that. You need a running back who can catch, right? You really do. Makes them a, a double option. I think Todd looks... Todd's, Todd's been... I've always respected him, but he's even better than I thought. Few NFL shoulders carried the weight Todd Gurley's did in 2017. New Rams head coach Sean McVay kept calling his number, and Gurley answered by becoming one of the game's best players. Who's that, Austin? Is that Austin? It all really goes back to you know, the system. You know, Coach McVay came and put in. We always knew Todd had you know the potential to do that, have that bigger year every year. But um, you know, his confidence you know just grew as the season went on. You know, he just kept getting better and better. The tenth overall pick three years ago, Gurley lived up to his billing after a sophomore slump left him off last year's top 100. He led the league with 13 rushing touchdowns, 19 total touchdowns and over 2,000 yards from scrimmage. He was named NFL Offensive Player of the Year and impressed his peers with the sheer number of things he can... So, 2,000 yards off of scrimmage, does that, mean, does that include rushing and uh, passing? And receiving, sorry? Is that what that means? Because obviously over 2,000 rushing yards, you'd be... He would be uh, TG2K, <laughs> wouldn't he? So I think that must mean both receiving and rushing, but you'll have to let me know. Do it all back, catch the ball. Oh, I like that hoodie. Between the tackle. I don't want to do that, but he can run away from you too. You get tied early in space and it's over. You just got to get him back to the line of scrimmage. You got to give him an opportunity to get running. So give him space. He's going to do the rest, man. He's one of those guys that has great breakaway speed. Hang on, what happened there? Give him an opportunity to get running, so give him space. He's going to do the rest, man. Boom! He's one of those guys that has great breakaway speed. Todd Gurley turned that thing into a foot race and beat everybody to the pylon. This guy has a nose for goal line. He's got a great stiff arm that he uses on guys. Oh, yeah. Guys are off of his body and away from him. I love, I love it when someone gets a nice clean stiff arm on the helmet and just doesn't even let them get anywhere near them. It's just like, they dive for the tackle, but no. See ya. Nah. Not today, mate. Not today. I love it. Sometimes you get a lot of shoelace tackles in the league. You can't do that with Ty. The best thing is his balance. A lot of times on film, you see it, one guy, he'll make a miss and he'll stay on his Bang! Screen, he'll jump over somebody. And another one. He'll Bang! <laughs> running to get the first down. Early is very, very tough to bring down. Todd Gurley, and he's possessed right now. He's a madman. 230 pounds running the ball like this. 230. Really is tough to take down, especially when he goes up. You think you're going to make this tackle and he's just jumping right over you. Against Washington, he caught a flat out of the backfield, jumped over one of the cornerbacks of safety and dove into the end zone. That's nice, man. He uh, jumped over somebody and like reached for the pylon and 
kept his feet in bounds. That was just, you know, good body control right there. I'm trying to avoid tackles, man, so I, I can't run past people all the time. I guess I just got to jump over you. I don't know why I do it, man. It's just, like, natural. It's just, just instinct, like, man. Natural. It is. It is. It is. A guy with that size and ability to be able to jump and move... Don't even try and explain it, bro. Don't even try and explain it. Just keep doing what you're doing. Keep killing it. And keep making the defense guess, all right? We've been waiting to see for a year, LA. Gurley gets there, but it's his role in the Rams' aerial attack that gave him that extra push of the top 100. Yeah. Ty Gurley is the complete back in the NFL. The guy not only runs the ball really well, he, he's a weapon out, outside of the backfield. I think Jared Goff really trusts him because he's a playmaker. Gurley did not yeah. have a receiving touchdown coming into this season. Suddenly, oh, the best receiving back yeah. in the NFL. Gurley led all running backs with six touchdown catches. Two of them came in Tennessee with the Rams' first division. See, I feel like every I feel like every running back should be able to to run that play. You know, to 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 do the um the play action, run to the side and catch it, or line up as a, as a slot receiver and, and, and run a small route and catch it, you know? They've got that speed, they've got that pace, they've got that, that, that strength, they've got that ability to make them miss. It's like, why just have them, you know, set up at the back? You'd, you'd want to use them as much as you can, right? But are there running backs that literally just take handoffs from the, the quarterback? Are there, are there running backs that are so one-dimensional like that? Are there? Any more? I don't know. I guess a guy like Marshall Lynch actually, come to think of it. I don't think I've ever seen him catch a pass. <laughs> and you probably, you, you don't really need him to, do you? You just give him the ball in the pocket and say, do what you can. Within reach. We had just had a, a huge mistake where we fumbled the ball an exchange that a guy got through and, and they end up scoring a defensive touchdown. The next drive, for him to really put everything on his shoulders, get a ball on the screen and take it to the house, that's what Todd does best. Got him locked 25. Just Finish. like that. Todd Gurley hits the Jets midfield. Just like that. And unless you pass that ball, he ain't going to have that space. Gurley's role in the Rams' turnaround has teams rethinking the value of his position. Oh yeah, that's some good patience. Taking top four in each of the three years since Gurley was drafted. Todd, he did a great job helping me out. He's one of the guys who opened up the doorways for the running backs to get drafted first round, like myself. By breaking ground and breaking tackles, it's clear what Todd Gurley has earned around the NFL. To be considered by your peers as a top 10 player. That's just a lot of respect. That's awesome, man. Especially having not made the countdown last year. I don't know why. I'm not gonna do too much research. I'm probably gonna look at Todd Gurley uh, in another video, but yeah, for him to to come back like that, it's awesome, man. It's, it's confidence, and he must, have, he must have a good offensive line. He must. I mean, but I don't know. Anyways, guys, that was Todd Gurley. The next person we're going to look at is Le'Veon Bell. Le'Veon Bell, running back for the Steelers. Can't wait. So I'll see you here for that one, of course. We've got five more videos to go, but five more. Five more. <sighs> Let's do this. All right, if you have liked this one, please press like. If you want to subscribe, please do. And I'll see you guys back here for some more very soon.